the first four elements of the G mindset. When these sound like simple things, but to implement them correctly, truly and correctly, in your mind, will change your entire view of the world. You'll start to look at everything completely differently. When you implement these four things correctly, when you say, if I say something, I'm going to do it, my word is iron will. You say that nobody is ever coming to save me, ever. You say that I'm pissed off, I don't have the life I want to have. And you couple that with, I believe I can do anything. If you truly believe all of these four things, it's going to change your entire view of this planet. Probably my most famous tweet when I had COVID takers. They, they verified me and everything, and I spoke too much truth, thought, so I had to tell the truth. When my, from my most famous tweets, when I said depression was famous tweets, when I had A-list celebrities, I had the girl from Game of Thrones, I had literally A-list guys. I was having arguments with all these people. And everyone's telling me how, how dangerous my mind is. What is dangerous about believing that you control your own mind? Because if you implement the four things I've just told you, depression becomes, a, becomes garbage. Depression is not a thing in you. Feeling depressed is real. You can be depressed with your situation. I just told you, number two, get depressed. That's fine. But believing you can fix it yourself is the important key. Sitting there believing that depression is some monster from the sky that strikes your brain and now you have no control over it and you must take pills every day is the absolute enemy to a genius. I don't give a how depressing my situation. The only person who can change it is me. The only person who can change how I feel about my situation or try and affect the situation directly is me. Even if you put me in a situation I can't change, you put me in jail, you depress me in jail, I still refuse to succumb to depression. I refuse to collapse mentally and give up. I know the only person who can control my mind is me. Nobody's coming to save me. No doctor with a pill is coming to save me. Depression isn't real. Depression is a state of mind designed to motivate you to find a life that doesn't depress you anymore. That's all it is. Now you have to decide, are you man enough to go and get it done, or are you sit around and cry? And depression, the reason I talk about depression a lot, is depression in the Western world is to cure all. It's to cure all excuse. And this is what people are using. My life is using because I'm depressed. No, you're depressed because your life is it's the other way around. And you're refusing to acknowledge that, and you want to sit there and live a life and pretend that some disease has struck. And the reason you know that, anyone out there who's depressed, I'll tell you something, you're not depressed, you're a coward. And the reason you're a coward is as follows. You desperately try to defend this crippling ailment. When I tell you depression isn't real, you message me pages and pages, desperate to convince me I'm wrong, that depression is a real thing, and that your life is terrible, and this ailment has destroyed your life, because you're desperate to defend your excuse. If depression was really terrible, you wouldn't want to defend it. If depression was really so bad, and I'm telling you it's not real, and I know how to fix you, and if you implement a mindset like mine, you become immune to depression. If depression was so terrible, you'd listen to me and think, I need to try what this guy does. I did do that. If he's immune to depression, it's impossible to depress him. I need to be like this man. But instead, no. You don't want to do that. You know, call me names and sit and defend this ailment because you know it's gone. It's your excuse. It's your blanket. It's your shield. It's your excuse you get to pull out every time you look at the failure of your life. And that's why depression is absolutely not good enough. And anyone who's bought this course who thinks they're depressed, I'll tell you something now. Drop that coward. Drop that coward. If you're watching this and you're depressed, drop and give me 200 press-ups. Do 200 press-ups. Look in the mirror. Look in the, your eyes. And tell yourself you're amazing. Drop that garbage. You can get absolutely nowhere in your life. Depression absolutely is Depression absolutely You're going to say this to people and they're going to be very nuts. call you arrogant. they call you all the things they call me. Your life is going to be a life worth your life. Implement the four things I told you. Four important tenets of the genius. Understand that nobody's coming to save you. Depression isn't real. You'll change your entire worldview once these four things are going to be And then we can move on. This is why I was saying when people say, you don't know, you don't know how it feels to be depressed. I say, yes, I do. The difference is how it's analyzed. I always argue this two ways as well as the depressed people. Because one of my most famous things people attack me for is their little quote. They say, you said depression isn't real. What about men who kills themselves? You don't care about men's mental health. I say, I didn't say depression isn't real. I said, feeling depressed is real. But the idea that depression is going to strike you in your mind and there's nothing you can do about it, I think that is promoting helplessness amongst depressed people, and that's the reason they kill themselves. I don't think that making people helpless in an unfortunate situation is the great thing to do. You have to give people hope. And I explain that. 
When you believe in something, you give it power. So I tried to say that when I fell at my lowest and I achieved the most I've ever achieved in my life, the reason I was capable of doing that is because I didn't believe in the paradigm of being a depressed person. I just believed that this is how I currently feel and for fuck it, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get my life better. And I gave a very simple example, an analogy. I said, if you take two people, one believes in ghosts and one doesn't, and you put them both in haunted houses, and in the middle of the night there's a bang, the person who believes in ghosts is now terrified. There's a ghost, they're calling an exorcist, they're panicking in the room, they're hiding. The person who doesn't believe in ghosts goes wind, and goes back to sleep. It's the same noise, it's the same scenario, but it's the belief in their mind that terror and ruins their life. It's the belief in their mind that turns against them. And I've said this many times. I don't even give about right and wrong. You can tell me depression, you can get put into every scientific proof in the world, depression, but I refuse to believe in things that take my power away. I only, I'm only going to construct a mental model that allows me to be as powerful as possible. If believing in the idea of depression is going to take my own power away, then I won't believe in it. I don't want to believe in things that make me weak. I believe in things that make me strong. And some of the war you're wrong. Listen, let's assume, let's assume you're correct and that makes me wrong. Let's say that you're right and you're depressed. Why would I want to adopt the thinking of a man who's sad? Why would I want to think like you? Wouldn't it better to be wrong and be happy and have a sports car and a yacht and a, and a private jet? You want to talk about right? Look at your life. Why, I, don't talk about right and wrong. Let's talk about success and results. I don't believe in things that take power. I never have. So when people email me and they say, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. And what's funny is this. I talk to them and they desperately defend the idea of depression. I'm like, my friend, you just told me you're too depressed to be successful and depression has destroyed your life and you lost your girl. I'm telling you that enemy, the enemy in your life isn't real. And you're now sending me 10 emails a week trying to convince me that your enemy is a real thing. Why are you sticking up for your enemy? This person, whatever it is, this idea has destroyed you and you're putting your energy into defending it. You should be on my team. Whose team are you on here? You want to sit here and convince me? I'm never going to believe you. I'm never going to adopt your thinking because your life is not successful enough to emulate. So why don't you try to adopt my way of thinking? Stop defending this. And they're defending it because it's a pure all excuse. Depression or sadness is a pure all excuse for men to use for failure. I have failed. This is why they say I don't believe in men's mental health. The man, the man who's depressed can't compete with the man who's most of us. This is this quote. I say, listen, you get to roll out, you get to be fat, be out of shape, be broke, be unimportant with no girlfriend. And instead of the world thinking you're a loser, you get to say, I'm not a loser, I'm depressed. It's a shield. And I say, that's why you don't want to lose your shield. Because now you have accountability, now you have performance. You call back, look it off. I don't get if it's real or not. We're not about that. We're talking about success here. Get rid of your excuses. Stop rid of anything that's ruined your life. And get things to work. And every time anyone has ever listened to you in history, ever, every single one of them has transformed their lives. Message me positive message that. Every single time. That's why I'm, I'm anti antidepressant. Because that pill ain't going to fix you the way becoming the man you wish you were is going to fix you. It, it's, it's crazy. And then they're going to take one little sound bite. Tate doesn't care about mental health. He thinks depressed people is sort of that it's some book. And they're going to apply it to you. If you're a full grown man and you believe everything that's on the news, you're going to end up semi depressed, divorced, miserable, broke. Like you're, you're like, anyway, there's no way to escape this fight. You're either buying their crap and fighting against your mind, or you're fighting against their crap. There's no, there's no other way to do it. I've had this conversation with a bunch of people, and my basic premise is that I refuse to believe in things that take power away from you. If, if you are in a haunted house and you believe in ghosts, you're scared. If you're in a haunted house and you don't believe in ghosts, you're just in a house and you don't care. So I don't like the idea. When someone explains to me the idea of one day waking up and being miserable and not wanting to live anymore, and it's nothing to do with my circumstances and I have no power over it, no matter how good my life is, I'm still going to feel terrible. And I'm gonna That's not an idea I subscribe to. Feeling depressed. Mm -hmm. Is real. Yeah. Depression as a disease, I do not subscribe to. The idea, of, I believe, that if you feel depressed, something is depressing you, and you should try your best to fix it. You should take control of your life and do your best to fix it. The idea, but they don't say that. They don't talk that. They say depression like it's this magic thing that comes out the sky and it gets in your brain. You're sad no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it, and you need to only take pills. And I think that's a very bad way to look at the world, and that's a bad idea to subscribe to. And if you start to feel depressed, let's say your girl leaves you and you start to feel depressed, but you believe in the idea of 
depression. You're now going to start diagnosing yourself as clinically depressed. Yeah. Self-hypnosing yourself into hypnotizing yourself and being clinically depressed. And, and it's amazing how you can speak things into existence. I cannot become depressed because I don't believe in it. 